All right, we're part, working on part 208-6-47. It is a spacer. Um, this little thing here looks kind of like a gasket. The width of this whole part from one end to the other is 6.5 inches. The depth, so that's all the way across there, is 3.25 inches. The thickness of it is going to be one inch, so that's what's not shown right here. The hole through the center is 2.38 in diameter, and the holes on the end are 0 0.75 in in diameter. Then these uh, on the end here are a radius of um, 0.75. So let's go ahead and get into AutoCAD. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch right to the top view on this one. And I'm going to start by putting in, um, we'll go here and look real quick. This depth right there, this has a um, it has a radius or a diameter to it. So that's 3.25. So that's from here to here is would be the radius. So all the way across it is 3.25. So we'll start by making a circle that has a center diameter. And we will just make that 3.25. All right. I'm going to double click the mouse wheel. And we know the entire length of that part was 6.5. So I'm just going to draw an arbitrary line with the ortho on that is 6.5 long. And go ahead and move that from that midpoint there to the center point there so now we know kind of where those things are at um, we'll do circles that are on the end with those were we had was with a radius uh, and that circle was a radius was 0.75 all right so now we can move this circle using shift right click quadrant and we can make that quadrant right there uh, our base point and move it from there to there and we can also then use this mirror command and mirror this right click first point of the mirror line is going to be our center point right there of that and then just come straight down with the ortho on and do we want to erase our source objects that is a no okay so now it's simple enough to just draw lines that go from shift right click tangent so that tangent right there to shift right click tangent right whoops somehow or another I messed it up I'm going to have to do it again shift right click tangent here to that tangent do the same on this one so I'm going to click a line shift right click tangent to the shift right click tangent here all right I can do the same thing if I wanted to as a matter of fact what I might do is I'll just go ahead and erase that one uh, because I'm gonna do this where I trim this part out and get rid of that part too go ahead and uh, well I can leave that for now what we will do is we'll go back in here look at this and we're gonna go what was that diameter of that circle right there 0.75 so um, we'll go back to AutoCAD and put in a circle with a diameter on this center point of 0.75. Right now, when I do the mirror command, I can mirror this, 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 and this. Go from that midpoint there over here to the other side, and it plops it in there perfectly. All right now, what we don't need is we don't need this any longer, so we'll get rid of that one. We can click trim and get rid of this and this. And then when we click a circle, we have a diameter that goes through the center of this part. Shift right click center. So it's automatically on the center. And that diameter is 2.38. All right. So that's what our gasket looks like. Um, from there, we'll click on the home button, flip it sideways, and we can go ahead and press pull that. Click inside that area right there, and we can go up that thickness of one. All right. So that's our part. Double click the mouse wheel. Save it um, as 208 dash six dash forty seven it is called a spacer and that should put it right there create the PDF file for submission and that's it we're ready to move on to the next one